Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you're watching this video series from. It's me again, Peter. I'm very happy to have you on my channel back where we learn, practice and apply what we study. If you are new, please kindly subscribe. If you're a returning viewer, I do really appreciate you. Today, we wanted to see how to enable mailbox archiving for a recipient mailbox in Microsoft Exchange 2019. But before we begin, let's talk about what is mailbox archiving and why is it needed? Mailbox archiving is a feature in Microsoft Exchange 2019 that allow you to automatically move older or less frequently accessed email messages and other items from a user's mailbox to a separate archive mailbox. Let's take a scenario, I call it a school lab scenario where teacher's email <laughs> archive is going to be used in this scenario. Let's consider a scenario where a teacher, Mr. Johnson, has been using his email for several years. So over the time, Mailbox accumulated a lot of large emails and attachments, which, which is causing a performance issue and making it difficult for him to locate uh, email very quickly, especially the important one. To address this issue, the IT department decided to enable mailbox archiving for Mr. Johnson. So let's see how they are going to do this in a real world scenario. So I've actually created a mailbox to represent Mr. Johnson uh, mailbox. And this is where we're going to be performing that. We're going to do this by, by PowerShell. And also we can do this also from the guild. It's very simple to do from the guild. All you have to do is select the, you go to recipient mailbox and you select the Mr. Johnson email and you scroll down a little bit and you enable the archive. So that's number one. So what is the result is going to be? If you look at user one, I've actually enabled this. That's why you see archiving enable. But right now we're going to do that from the management shell. We go over and open the management shell. And the first thing we wanted to check is if this recipient mailbox is already archived. How do we do that? We're going to type get uh, mailbox dash Mr. Johnson identity pipe and then we're going to format the list to see the archive status. So let's do that really quick. Get mailbox. Then in our case, we are piping out the identity and we're going to do Mr. Johnson I can. If you really don't want to be copy and paste, all you have to do is that first get the mailbox. Uh, sorry about that. Just get the mailbox really quick. So you have Mr. Johnson alias right here. You copy it and you go get mailbox again. Pipe out the identity. Then put Johnson right here. Pipe it out for our format list, then call the archive. And archive status. So this is just for us to see that there's no archive status. I think that I spelled that one right. Uh, let's see. FL. We have to be very careful when we type something right here. Archive status. Yes, I do spell it right. So now we're able to see that the archive status is set to none because we don't have it. So what is the next thing we are going to do is we're going to enable the mailbox identity of Mr. Johnson and do archive. So let's go back and do it. So we are doing enable. Yeah, let me just bring this down a little bit so that you can see. Enable mailbox, call the identity of Mr. Johnson. 
and I'm going to put Johnson and archive. So enter and that's all. So in order for us to check if this email has actually been archived, I will show you from this portal that it's going to have an archive status right here. But before that, I want us to try another output, which is get mailbox identity. And we're going to check the archive database where all this mailbox is going to go and also the archive name. Let's go back. We are getting the map. You can just push up the, the upper button in your computer and we are going to get, uh, and this time we are doing get mailbox. So you just change it, get mailbox. You pipe out the identity and you go FL. You call the archive database. And also you want to check the archive name and you click on enter. So right now we get the archive name. I think we, we're not getting the archive database just because there's something wrong in the spelling. So most of the time I advise us to always type this before we, I think I'm missing C right there. Let's see now. Now we are able to, before we don't have the archive database. So now we have the archive database and we have the archive name that we have for the database. So with that being said, that is how we have to do. Let's go back to our dashboard and just refresh. So now we can see that Anthony Johnson, which is our fake name, have actually have the user archive. So let's see what happened. Let me do something right here. I'm going to copy this. I will go ahead and log into the user mailbox really quick to see if we can see something different. Oh, come on, Peter. Okay. <laughs> Don't mind me. I always have this issue of not typing the the password correctly. So I would type it outside and paste it again. Oh, come on. Did I miss anything? Yeah. Let me go ahead and fix it. Sorry about that. Let me go ahead and fix it. I'll be right back. Okay. So what I've done to fix the user's email is that I go ahead and reset the password from the Active Directory. And that's how I get the access right now. So let's take a look at what happened. The moment you actually um, enable the archive immediately, go ahead and check it out. If you're working now, if you work in an organization and go ahead and check your email, you should see something related to this. If you already have an archive uh, mailbox, you see something related to this. And with that being said, go ahead and try it out in your environment. Thank you so much for staying to the end of this video. I really appreciate you and I will see you in my next video. Please kindly subscribe, like, and share with your friend if you find this valuable. Have a nice day. Bye-bye for now.